show you the path. See two wires boiling down to this end, coming to this cabinet, and then boiling down again to your RIO bus. Okay, from your RIO bus, there is an internal connection to your CP cards. Okay, now this is known as a um, yeah. Uh, no, before that, this um, we'll cover that in la uh, later. Fine. So I think the communication is clear. You use a uh, remote input-output uh, unit, and then uh, yeah, you use a uh, remote input-output unit to communicate with your node interface unit. Okay. Uh, I have a couple of points to mention, but it would be better to have a comparison. So let's move on to the next unit. Fine. Um, next, next in line of the hierarchy is your KFCS. Okay. Uh, K is meant for com compact. Okay. Now you can see how bulky these things are. You know, although you can have five nests, I would say you can just have five nests. Okay, and um, and it's pretty much bulky. So what they wanted next was something uh, which is more organized and more compact, and hence the name KFCS. Um, this is your mother unit or your FCU. This is your node interface unit. Now have a good look at the node interface unit. Here you have your bulky nests and here you don't have nests, you just have slots for fitting in your IO cards. It looks neat and it's small. It's compact. Okay. So hence the name. Now let's have a look over here. You have the bus couplers, the power supply units, two and number, your communication cards your CP cards with the dip switches for address setting and over here you have the IO cards and uh, communication cards and your power supply just as usual communication cards for communication now almost all things are similar except for the way it communicates uh, let's have a look at the model number of the communication card the model number of communication card is SB311 okay there is a basic criteria in the sense that SB311, this card, right? This has to be used always in your FCU. Any FCU for KFCS, it should have this SB311 communication card. And after that, when you go to your NIU, that is Node Interface Unit, you will have an SB401 card. Now I've told you about something known as the Remote Interface Unit. The only difference between NIU and a uh, remote interface unit is that NIU is in vicinity of your FCS and uh, remote interface unit obviously as the name suggests it's at a remote end so uh, it wouldn't be at the vicinity and you will have an extended cable and the card is also different the card is also different in the sense see ultimately it boils down to this there would be an FCU, there would be a node interface unit, there can be one more node interface unit, but ultimately there would be one node interface unit which would be connected to your uh, remote interface unit. So that particular node interface unit which communicates to your remote interface unit, it shouldn't have an SB401 card. Instead, it should have an EB401 card. Okay and your remote interface unit it should have an EB501 card there isn't much difference between the NIU and an RIU except in the sense of the card that is used rest all the same okay fine um, uh, yeah now see this uses an SP311 card right and if you notice over here it uses an RB301 card See the RB301 card, it ended with LFCS, okay? That was the last, I mean, RB301 didn't, didn't bubble up in the eventual series. So RB is the only place where RB301 is used as your LFCD. And in your PFCS, you don't need this communication cable because you just have one independent unit with five nests. So it's not required, okay? So here, let's have a look once more you have an SP311 card. Now, there is some internal conversion that is happening. So they have coupled this to a block which does some sort of conversion and it is available outside as through your ESP bus. 
okay bus one and bus two and this is your extended serial backboard bus or esp bus okay and you connect it to your niu now suppose i have an niu one more niu for example okay you will pick up connections from these ends and go to the bottom section and connect it so it just goes on like that fine okay now if you have an niu and an riu then the the bus would i mean the communication cards use would change as i had said earlier plus the bus that you use would be an extended remote bus okay fine mm, yeah i think i've covered most of it.